Welcome, this is Dr. Ali Mugabel, and we're doing important distribution and density examples. We have covered the Gaussian random variable. Today we'll look at more random variables. We have both discrete and uh, continuous random variables. So we'll look at both of them. We'll look at binomial and Poisson as example of discrete. For the continuous, we have covered Gaussian. We'll look at uniform, exponential, and Rayleigh distributions. All right, so the binomial distribution, we'll start with the math first, and then we'll look how to make some physical sense out of this math. Binomial distribution comes with the Bernoulli distribution, the Bernoulli experiment where you have either hit or miss, yes or no, hit or tail. So basically, there is a center probability of success, which is between 0 and 1. The total number of experiments we do is capital N. It's an integer number. It could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 whatever integer number. So we are asking the question of what is the, the possible probability density distribution? What are the probabilities? Remember, the expression here in the middle is very familiar. I think we are familiar with this expression that's coming from the Bernoulli experiment. This is the number of P is the probability of success. K is the number of success terms. 1 minus P is the probability of failure raised to the power N minus K which means the remaining ex ex experiment will be failure. And this is why we raise to the power of n minus k. And of course, there are different ways for doing this, the permutations. You can go back to the Bernoulli experiment video and choose k. So this is the Bernoulli experiment. To make it into distribution, we consider all possible scenarios. So we, we, we execute the summation. The summation now will go from 0 to capital N. So we, we, we get the probability of having 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever maximum number we get. To organize them, because we have discrete experiment uh, with discrete outcomes, then everyone will be scaled by delta. So we have summation, all these deltas, every delta will be scaled by the probable probability, and the delta will be located at that value of k. So if you remember the expression for Bernoulli, it's not very difficult to come up with the binomial distribution. This is called the binomial density function. Binomial density function. We, it was an experiment, Bernoulli, we made it into binomial distribution. And because of its discrete, because of being discrete, we have this deltas. Recall that the binomial coefficient, if you want to calculate n choose k, then we have the following formulation to do that n factorial divided by, by k factorial divided by n minus k factorial. The, bin the binomial CDF, the community distribution, the one at the top here is the PDF. So we can get the CDF by simply changing the delta into unit step function because the CDF and the PDF are related by integration. So we got the following expressions. This is almost the same except for u of t becomes uh, the integral of delta, and now we have capital F of x. So now we have the binomial density and the binomial uh, CDF. On the right-hand side, we can see an example for n equal to 6 and p equal to 0.25. The following is the distribution. We have deltas, all these deltas together, and this is why you have summation, will give you the probability of having zero success, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and maximum of 6. The sum of these numbers, of course, has to be equal to 1. In the lower sketch, we have the, the CDF, which is the integral of the upper curve. We start from 0, then it's 0.178. You add these two numbers together, you get 0.534, and so on. We get a maximum of 1. So on the right-hand side, we're just showing you one example for n and p of 6 and 0.25. When to apply binomial distribution? So I'm going to summarize again. We have covered the math. Now we have to make some sense. The density can be applied to the Bernoulli trial experiment, where we have only two outcomes. Game of chance, win or loss, detection problems in radar, because you either detect or uh, you miss, and sonar examples. It applies to many experiments that have only two possible outcomes, head or tail, zero or one, target or no target, 
on uh, any given trial n. So this is basically saying the same thing in different way. It applies when you have n trials of the experiment and you ask what is the probability of k successes out of these n trials. If you want to consider all, k, all cases, then you have a distribution which is called the binomial distribution. So the words look the same and in fact they are related. This is Bernoulli, the name of the scientist and you have the binomial distribution and they are related. Okay, I have executed, I have executed MATLAB uh, example and just to share with you the previous example of n equal to 6 and p equal to 0.25. Okay, how do we get this with MATLAB? We basically have uh, two functions to maybe look at. We have defined n, divide p, and then we have the value of x ranging from 0 up to capital N. Uh, y is defined to be the binomial, the bino PDF. You have to feed the parameters x, n, and p. And we can also get the CDF for the binomial distribution. These are functions from MATLAB. And then this, I just proceeded with the sketch. You got to, to be careful here. If you want to get deltas, if you if you use plot, you'll get connected curve like this. But if you use tem, it will give you impulses at the right location with the values given. For the second case, again, if you use plot, it will be this connected curve. And if you, since we know it's discrete, we're going to use stairs. Uh, so to sum up, we have four basic uh, new things here bino bdf cdf we have the stem function and we have the stairs function other than that these are usual matlab commands for the x label y label and what have you okay so this is just to demo the binomial distribution i would suggest that you uh, i will be sharing of course the code or you can just uh, i will just share the slides so you can cut and paste these in matlab and run the code and you can change in and and P and see how the distribution changes accordingly. All right, let's take another practical example. A binomial distribution, for binomial distribution, it says in the example that there is a canned juice company creates an under the cap promotion whereby a customer can win an instant prize of one real looking under the bottle cap and that is with probability of one fourth. So in on the average, in every four bottles, you get one real. So the probability of winning one real is one fourth. A customer buys eight bottles of juice from this company. If we pick eight, what is the probability that we are going to win? This is an example of Bernoulli experiment, whether the outcome is either yes or no, win or loss. So uh, let's look at how we formulate the problem. It says find the PDF. When it's discrete, we call it PMF, probability mass function. It's not density anymore, it's a mass function of the number of winning bottles and denote as X. And then it says compute the probability of winning more than four reals. So we have capital N, which is eight, and we have small p, which is one fourth. And knowing the, the binomial distribution, we can get the formula. So to start with the probability is a Bernoulli experiment. A choose K, 1 over 4 is the probability of success, raised to power K. 3 over 4 is the remaining probability, raised to power 8 minus K. We have K successes and remaining are uh, no success. If you simpli simplify this expression, I'll, I can um, simplify the expression here. We can add the exponent, so this becomes... 4 raised to the power 8 minus k with k cancels. In the numerator, we have 3 raised to the power 8 minus k. Not much here, just math manipulation. So now we can also substitute in the general formula for the binomial because this is just the Bernoulli experiment. We put things here. We sum from 0 to 8 to consider all, this, all scenarios. And we have delta of x minus k. So that will give you basically 9 expressions from 0 up to 8. That's the, the probability. We can sketch, we can write, we can substitute for different values of k. Now, uh, this is the called the PMF, the probability mass function. And it's, it says now calculate the probability of having of winning more than four. So basically the summation now will start from five to eight because the question only is interested of 
winning five, six, seven, or eight reals. That of course is expected not to be a very high probability when you buy eight bottles and you don't expect to get them all winning bottles. So we can substitute here and we can get the number. Please, if you get the number, you can write in the comments. You can compare our answers. On the side here, I have sketched the cases for you. So we have, uh, this is implementation of the equation using MATLAB. So it's 0.1, it goes up like this. We have the highest probability of winning two because we are having eight. And then of course, if you want, the question is asking for five, you can, you need to subtract these quantities to get um, what's the probability of winning more, th more than four. So we know the probability of winning four, it's here. The remaining difference would be more than four. So it's one minus this quantity. Okay, please, uh, if you get the answer, you can share it in the comment section and we'll compare our answers. Next, we'll, we'll go on to different distributions.